Whoa! Hello! Greg, Alba, here. Andrew, here. Andrew, here from the Movie Source channel. Brought him here today as he is a Batman enthusiast. Suicide Squad official Comic-Con trailer. I've seen a lot of Suicide Squad videos lately. I'm going to watch this because everyone's really requesting that we check this out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Here's to honor among thieves. We almost pulled it off. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Despite what everybody thought. Wait for them to ask you who you know. They're gonna blame us for the whole thing. We're the patsies. Don't forget, <clears throat> we're the bad guys. Okay. Samson leveling a temple with a single push? Or the Philistine weapon of mass destruction named Goliath? Whoa. The next war will be fought with these metahumans. Please don't fuck Ours or theirs? I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet. I'll come to you. No Track right by us. No stand down, made up. <laughs> that guy's so good. Must be crazy. This is the deal. You're going somewhere very bad. Look at the pretty lights. To do something that'll get you killed. You might want to work on your team motivation thing. You heard of Phil Jackson? Yeah. He's like the gold standard. <laughs> okay? Triangle, bitch. Baker's baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't wait to show you my toys. We're going to the swirling ring of trash in the sky. They walk in the park. Easy peasy. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> Biggest boss and I've been in trillis. Well, I'm a bigger problem when I put the trillis. Kicking in the door for suicide squad. Okay. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Whoa. Enough footage. Yeah, please stop with that. the footage. Stop. I'm starting to figure out how this movie might play out now. Before I did it, I'm starting to piece together some stuff. Could be totally wrong. Movie comes out in like just a week or two. Before the Suicide Squad gets assembled, Viola Davis is gonna talk to important people, gonna be like, we need to assemble this, this squad of people that we can blame it on, right? We just do a montage, we see the collection of the of the characters. Ike, uh, Baron Holtz, the guard, I feel like he's the one guarding Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. Like one of the main people in charge of guarding Harley Quinn. I think that's why Joker is antagonizing him later and saying like he's gonna like fuck him up. Because it looks like Ike Barinholtz says he's like in a suit and stuff, so he might be one of those corrupted kind of guards. Those guys who like, you know, takes money from criminals and so now he rocks the nice suits and gets all greedy and stuff. So he becomes a bad guy that Joker uh, wants to take down because he probably abused Harley in some way. Just a big assumption. After they get in their helicopter, the Suicide Squad team, they get taken down. Psh Suicide Squad has to fight their way out and then they're having that moment in the building where they're like drinking and Will Smith is like, hey, they're gonna blame it all on us. And then Joker eventually shows up. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I've gathered so far. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good theory. I definitely have a few things in my mind that I think are gonna happen, but like you said, what I'm hoping for when we see this movie is I wanna be surprised, obviously, 
But the thing I'm really looking mo most forward to is I like the chemistry between all the uh, the main Suicide Squad so far. I mean, just yeah. it really looks like it's very organic between all of them. They look like, even though they just kind of got together at the last second, they really do look, like I said, an organic team. And just looks like they're going to be a lot of fun to be around, even though we're in, a, uh, like I said, a more serious dark take on this. It looks like, again, there are also going to be some comedic elements, even though it's a more serious dark take on this kind of a film. But I got to say, too, one big thing I'm noticing in all these trailers is Slipknot is, like, not in anything. Thing. He's in like one little clip on everything. Clearly, he's gonna die first right away. Assuming through the chip that they were one putting in, the he, squad he, yeah, to he's, die, he's yeah. gonna try to escape. And then when his his brains blow out, all the other squad members are like, "Yeah, we're not gonna try to escape. We will do exactly what Viola Davis or Amanda Waller is uh, expecting us to do." It's just funny how he's not in anything. So. Yeah, it's true. The more I see of Jai Courtney, and the more oh, the yes. more I'm really liking what he's doing. Absolutely, because Jai Courtney, man, like he he's one of those actors who I think has stale. been taking himself very seriously. Too too stale, too serious. I really feel like he's letting loose here. And like we were saying about the humor, it's like these characters are very dark characters, so there's gonna be some really dark humor, Absolutely. which I like. Will Smith, though, as Deadshot, still seems like Will, Will Smith, Smith as Deadshot, yeah, you know? I'm like, with you on that. It's hard for me to just go, Will Smith is just doing a really cool role. His delivery, his dialogue, everything about him still seems very Will Smith reminiscent, which might not be a bad thing. It could aid the film. He is mm -hmm. top billing actor, so I'm assuming he is going to be the primary lead. But I'm, like, way more interested in every other character besides Deadshot at this point. Margot Robbie looks like she's going to oh, kill it, man. Absolutely. Like, if, despite whatever you want your Harley Quinn interpretation to be. If you watch other Margot Robbie movies and then you see just footage from this, you're like, I don't see Margot Robbie in this role at all. Like, this is just a, this is a different person right now. And that's all I really wanted. So whatever uh, interpretation she gives, I'm sure it's going to be a kick-ass job. I saw a clip the other day too where she was calling Joker pudding in the purple Lamborghini and literally watching. Yeah. I'm like, this is the animated series come to yeah. life. Like, it's, Mr. It J. Yeah. Mm. Their chemistry too between Jared Leto and Margot Robbie. I'm so fascinated to see that because I've been waiting since 1992, since we first got Harley Quinn in the animated series. I believe the episode was Joker's favorite. I believe that was the first episode of Harley. I wanted to see this character on screen. And ever since I saw Wolf of Wall Street watching Margot Robbie, that woman needs to play uh, Harley Quinn. Finally get her. We're a week and a half, two away or so. I'm beyond ecstatic to see what she does with this role because like you said I'm not going to compare her to Heath Ledger but just from the perspective of I don't see Heath Ledger where is yeah. he He's, I don't see him anywhere it's the same thing with Margot Robbie obviously I'm going to judge her after we see the film of course but just from all the trailers ago, I'm like I don't see Margot Robbie anywhere this is Harley Quinn it's not just her Harley Quinn from uh the animated series but this is Harley Quinn just from all the everything she's saying the makeup the way she's talking the way she's moving it's it's Harley Quinn what I'm a little concerned about too is the Joker story to be honest okay because the Joker I feel like Jared Leto is gonna nail the role but the story itself it seems like the Joker story is a totally separate thing going on from everything else that's going on. Major subplot. Like, yeah, it seems like a, a subplot that could tie in and overall and make the biggest difference by the end of the film. But I'm worried that it's going to be like, well, this is something so separate. It doesn't strongly connect as we hope it would. But for then again, Harley Quinn is part of the main members of the Suicide Squad. And I like that they're not showing us the Joker story. Yeah. We don't know what the hell the Joker's up to. We don't know exactly what he's doing. We've just got in like brief images, some moments where you're like, that's probably how Harley Quinn became Harley Quinn. Again, I'm just speculating. What I can see happening here is uh, Common is the main bad guy. I believe he's playing Master P or the Tattoo. I don't know who he's playing. I wouldn't be shocked if he tries to have Joker help him now that he sees the Suicide Squad is like messing up his uh, that whole army of uh, goons that we saw in the uh, trailer. And then Joker, he doesn't want to team up or partner with anyone. He's going to betray you and backstab you. As we clearly saw, I know this is a different Joker, but just incarnations we've seen a Joker. He backstabs, betrays his... Uh, his uh, co-workers, as you saw in the Dark Knight and the bank robber scene and other uh, iterations of the Joker, so... Well, yeah, because the Joker just looks out for himself. Even in the cartoons and the comics uh, with Harley Quinn, he, like, dicks over Harley oh, an awful so lot. Much. <laughs> yeah. I, that's yeah. one of my favorite parts Har of their relationship. Harley's always falling for Mr. J and yeah. falls in love with him and then gets manipulated by him. If he has to, he'll abandon her. Dude, Fear I to the fish yeah. I love it when they fight and then they make up and it's it's like a real relationship. Yeah, it's like a so real abusive relationship. Yeah. I can't wait to see their chemistry on screen. I think as talented as Margot Robbie and Jared Leto are, I feel like they would have dynamic chemistry working together in these roles. And I wonder if Margot Robbie was able to study a little bit of Jared Leto's interpretation before doing Harley Quinn. Since the character of Harley Quinn is strongly derived from like being a female alias of the Joker, that I, I wonder if like Margot Robbie did have time to like study a little bit of Jared Leto first. Last thing I want to say, David Ayer as writer and director of this 
David Ayer's films I find to be very hit and miss. When his writing career really became known, it was through Training Day. But then, you know, you got Street films Kings. like Street Kings, and then you had like Dark Blue. But then End of Watch comes out, and despite how you feel, I don't know, Sabotage with Schwarzenegger. I personally liked it, but I understand why people had problems with it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, just, I, I love Arnold. I though. liked it at first, but then I couldn't even finish it later on. <laughs> and then Fury comes out, so, so you know, yeah. like every yeah. once in a while, he, just, he does a, uh, harsh times that I could, I, I thought that was kind of annoying. So I've seen most of his films. <laughs> this is his territory that he could do. Definitely. I hope Warner Brothers didn't tie him down to having to really tie all this in some people are bummed out that they ruined that batman's in the film i don't think it's that big no, of a deal since most so. of these villains are batman's direct villains that it doesn't bother me hopefully david ayer this is one of his hits instead of one of his misses so i'm a big david ayer fan as well from what i've heard in interviews he has a deep respect for these characters i don't know if he said marvel sucks or something but he said like dc villains are the best or which he's got a point, DC villains are yeah. incredible. And obviously Spider-Man's got amazing villains with Marvel, but either way, David Ayer really understands these characters just from the interviews I've seen, and it looks like he has a love and respect for these characters. I'm very interested in taking, and this man understands violence and action, and he knows how to shoot it. Just from that perspective, I'm very you know curious, and I gotta say, one other thing I'm liking from all these trailers, I love the color saturation in all these. It looks like a very colorful film rather than you know very True. dark. It looks like it's well shot, so from David Ayer's perspective, I'm really excited. I mean, what looks great about the trailer is like, I would guess this is an R-rated film. Oh, from hell C yeah. I mean, I know, it, I know it's PG-13, but... They probably got an ultimate edition looks, ready. Yeah. Out, so. <laughs> it looks dark. It looks menacing. It looks violent. Like, it looks like something that looks sinister <laughs> so I, yeah I, i'm hoping though real like i know they have to this movie has to be good but maybe one day when the sequel comes out maybe it'll be rated r you know because i mean yeah people knows? might be on board for wolver i mean with marvel well fox actually wolverine 3 is confirmed to be rated yes. r and with the ultimate edition of batman v superman rated and r. deadpool i feel like r-rated comic book movies are a thing that's going to be around a lot more with these bigger kind yeah. of stories and suicide squad <laughs> if it is done right and and, and loved by the majority of people this could be the thing that truly makes DC films stand out more. Absolutely. Because everyone knows that with Marvel, their villains have been a little bit weak and a little bit lackluster, excluding a few and excluding some of the television characters. Mm -hmm. With in terms of movies, you know, this yeah. uh, in terms of cinematic universe, Suicide Squad is promoting their villains of, uh, which is going to be interesting to see how they handle these characters after Suicide Squad. At the end of the day, they're gonna be the protagonists of this story. When they're gonna be the antagonist of like a future DC movie or something, I'm gonna see how that how that really like makes me feel, how that plays mm -hmm. out. So I'm interested to see what direction this goes down. Definitely, and one last thing before we go, I did notice in that trailer, we saw it said Bell Reeve, where they were, where the, uh, the prisoners were in before like a man yeah. chips them and all. I thought they were in Arkham Asylum, so that was uh, interesting that they said they were in Bell Reeve, because I believe Bell Reeve is in Metropolis, and that's like, you know, it's Superman's Arkham Asylum. So I thought that yeah. was interesting to see if that's where they're being, uh, you know, Suicide held. Squad? Yeah. Like before they're, before but, they're putting the chips in and Amanda takes them, because I thought they were all in Arkham. Oh yeah, Asylum. I assumed it was Arkham the whole time. Yeah, but it said Bell Reeve in the trailer, unless I was, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw Bell Reeve in the trailer, so. Mm, very cool. Well, guys, next time you hear us talking about Suicide Squad, it'll be because we saw the actual movie. Finally. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, yay. Andrew is from the Movie Source channel. Check them out, yay. Follow us on our social networks, yay. We've talked for a long time.